Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and it's game theory time, boys. Another game theory on FNAF. This time, it is on the upcoming game by Steelwall Security Breach. I don't know what he's talking about here. I have a feeling I know. He's probably just going to predict uh, the lore, the gameplay, all that stuff. I'm curious to see if the action figures are going to be in here, the figurines. Because those were like just revealed, so if he brings them up, I'll be surprised. I don't know. I've I've known he's been working on this for a little bit. I think he mentioned it in a past live stream. So I am curious to see what it's all about. So really, let's not waste any more time. Game Theory. I don't know what the title is. Game Theory. FNAF Security Breach. I know the big twist. I think. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. I wonder if he's going to talk about Security Goal, Vanessa, and Vanny. Um, I'm not going to get into it now because people get all upset if you bring it up, so... Let's just watch the video and see what it's about, okay? Uh, like, sub if you're new. We got a lot of cool videos coming out. More Game Theory FNAF reactions in the future, because MatPat will never stop uploading them. So, let's hop into it. Alright, here we go. Like, sub if you're new. Let's hop right into it. Game Theory FNAF Security Breach. I know the big twist, I think. Let's have a look, MatPat. What do you have in store? Ooh, I like this. Uh-oh, that's not good. A lot of hidden easter eggs. Shadow Bonnie. Oh, I completely forgot about Princess Quest, if I'm being honest. Ooh, I wonder how he's gonna interpret it, because I've seen a few different theories. Hopefully the volume's good for you guys. Purple guy! I see Spring Boy. Welcome, Welcome to, to game, game theory. theory. Show that's always a bloody good time. Today oh boy. We have a few massive announcements before we get to the episode. So Ooh, that's right. The theory, the theory merch, the brand new live stream. Do that because these aren't things you're going to want to miss. First and most importantly, mark your calendars because yes. Tuesday, December 1st. God, I'm so excited for this. Channel, I am unveiling our biggest project ever. And I don't take that lightly. The game theory Dude. $1 dollar challenge. I've heard about this. It's gonna be incredible. St. Jude Children's Research yes. Hospital and their fight to end childhood cancer. This show Cancel cancer. Let's go. How massive it is. Like I know that we did a St. Jude live stream Such a fun last time. year and we were successfully able to raise one point three million dollars with God, that's incredible. But this year's show is <laughs> like ten times that size. And honestly, the reason for it is I don't know about you, but I've been missing a a sense of normalcy in 2020 and so for this show it's I've gonna really be so amazing guys all the stops and call in all the favors to try and deliver you a show that is unlike anything that youtube has seen oh this year especially but just in general awesome. we've already got ourselves 25 confirmed guests Darko and dj store for there i'm guessing there's gonna be some gonna fnaf segment thousands of dollars in prizes to you guys Whoa. watching and donating at home we've got the try guys and Rosanna back at it again back at it again people on the platform doing some insane food challenges with us Ooh, right, one's out is gonna be there just again the amazing guy he is mark rober you know yo the scientist mark rober is coming on and cooking up some science to throw in my face during Ooh. the stream live suffice it to say i'm Oh god. Up pretty messy. And don't even get me started because I'm in the process of arranging the highest IQ game of Among Us ever. Oh like no. Disguise toast and Vsauce 3, Veritasium, Physics Girl. Dream. Damn. Like, Dream. That is some big brained gameplay. That's it's big brain there. time. Oh yeah. And I should probably also mention the new FNAF project that I'm working on with Scott. I fucking knew it. At home to play against some of the kings of FNAF that you watch on YouTube. Each Pog? Day. So will these kings of FNAF be able to beat the game when you are trying to actively sabotage them <laughs> oh, it's like fnaf among us long story short this is god i'm so excited the best of the best of youtube all to benefit the best of the best of causes saint jude a hospital that if you don't remember from last year treats god. children with cancer for free the families do not absolutely dime for incredible treatment and then saint jude takes it one step further and passes those scientific learnings on to the rest of the world which means that one child treated at St. Jude literally translates to Sorry I'm not talking much around the world. It's in this section of the video. It's just an organization that is doing some of the most important work for some of the most important patients out there. And I know that God. in a year full of important causes, there's been a lot to donate to, but St. Jude's work is as important as ever and harder than I'm ever. I'm so glad the they're coming back for round two. two. I know that this one is a few weeks away, but please, please, please mark your calendars and consider yes. being there. If everything goes right, it should be an incredible <laughs> day of joy and celebration in a year that's otherwise been really rough yeah so, 
come take a break with us. Come support a great company. God, I'm so excited. Have it's going to be such a great day. Anyway, speaking of partnering with Scott Coffin, the new, new merchandise is available right now. We I already bought some right Faz coins, boys. I got right like three. Time to keep you all snuggled and warm for the holiday season. That includes some amazing winter goodies like this. <laughs> Super soft, cool. plushy blanket, which you can cuddle up with while you're doing your new 500-piece game theory puzzle. Yeah, wow. That's right. We made an official game I'll be honest. I, wow, I actually freaking love that. To both this I'll be honest. I didn't really take a look at the a game theory merch, mainly just the FNAF merchandise. <laughs> jacket for anyone who likes more of a female cut item. And uh, this, actually, the thing I'm wearing right now, a red vegan leather jacket, which is Probably oh, my favorite oh god. pet I've ever built. I built this Matt Pat cosplay Roundup coming in the future. Years, literally <laughs> stitch by stitch. I took my favorite red jacket of all time, the, the red jacket that you've probably seen in countless other videos, and I rebuilt it to be this new thing that's cruelty free and with a lot of additional details that I've always wanted, like uh like this pocket right here. It's called a media <laughs> pocket for things like your Nintendo Switch or uh, Oh really? Tell me like more, that. Matthew. But not everything is gonna be so cheery and bright this year, friends, because there is a Fnaf. dark twist to this merch launch. Yes! Theoryware X FNAF. The animatronics have taken over. Ooh. Death coins are on the loose, and we've Please, officially I want partnered with Five Nights at Freddy's itself to create this monstrosity. FNAF, Freddy Fazbear himself. The first official joint game theory and FNAF project ever. It's not every day that you get an ugly the first one. sweater with pizza detailing. Grab oh, wow. now before it grabs you. I'm also really proud of this hoodie I helped to create based on it looks cool. favorite low-paying security guard position at your local pizzeria. So may your days be merry and bright. And FNAF may at Freddy's. Anyway, like I said, links The ARG was so fun. Below I had video. such a great time. As you might be able to tell, between planning the live stream and working on the merch, there has been a lot going on. And in the middle of it all, more FNAF. Ugh. FNAF Security Breach got its first trailer out during a PlayStation 5 announcement. God, he hasn't talked about that yet. Does this new game look I completely incredible. forgot. He hasn't talked about this. Your friends are worried about you. Long gone Such good times. Looking at static filled still image camera feeds, my friends. And before we move on, can I just say how cool it is to see an indie franchise started yes. by one man working at Dollar General rise to the point that it's now getting a spotlight alongside time honored franchises like Final Fantasy and God of War. And not only getting spotlight alongside them, getting more views than nearly. I know! What the frick is up with games. that? That's awesome. Well done, Scott. <sighs> really, really well deserved. Now, based on the trailer, it looks like we'll be trapped inside of a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Plex, playing a light mega pizza plex. Seek against a killer. Three and that stories. Killer, Vanny, that I really want to dive into today. Mm. She's teased twice in the trailer. Once via a bunny-shaped shadow in the opening sequence, and again a jump scare. <laughs> now, we've yes. suspected for a while that she's coming via teaser images on Scott's website, merch leaks, Easter eggs hidden throughout. Oh, is he gonna say that she's already here? Before in past theories. I was in that one. I wanted to look closer at today is her backstory and her relationship to glitch trap because <laughs> i don't like eolus glitch trap and we honestly don't know when it's coming out we thank do you matthew know a ton about this new character in fact true to scott's style of storytelling we probably won't get that much of a backstory for vanny in this new game i don't know if you've noticed this about scott's games but important I'm, story bits i'm curious to see around the games rather than in the games let me explain with an example again sister if he talks about Vanessa and Vanny being maybe being the same secret ending you see that she gets puked up into a sewer fast forward to FNAF 6 and they're suddenly two separate entities again scrap baby and molten freddy mm. to 99.9% .9 of the players you would have no idea how or why that would have happened and i can't blame them because the only way you would know that baby got voted out of the the source code via the source code on Scott's website as well as a separate standalone oh my God, site dude. FNAF the good old days just goes to show that when you're talking about FNAF, hey smash like, like if you remember fnafworld.com i think vanny is already getting treated this same way yeah the i mean there's conversations in the source code the big twist reveal about vanny's true nature has already been laid out for us if you're really? paying attention to all parts of the fnaf universe so it's kind of my like job you, you don't have time to keep track of the 12 games nine books <laughs> dozens of ports hundreds of toys and a movie, <laughs> i, I goddamn i hate when well, stuff like this happens. 
because all the pieces are 12 games for us, and now billions of books back together to understand the true backstory of vanny the killer it's like how many Perfect fnaf games are there well before security breach comes out how much time Recently, you got the game fnaf <coughs> wanted got itself a mobile port big wolf right? and it was We've fun seen this game two other times before once in vr and again in a flat console port don't get mm. me wrong love this game probably my favorite game of the franchise same still, scott you ain't getting same. me to buy this for a third time he totally got me to buy it a third time. So yes! Because this is a mobile port, a lot of the game has been stripped away. Gone is the intro sequence, gone are some of the game modes, but most notably gone are the hidden cassette tapes that mm. tell is the he gonna story say it's a prequel? of Help Wanted's failed development. Now, if you remember, I know that was a ago, popular theory. Collecting all 16 of those hidden tapes in the original game inadvertently assembled our latest villain, Glitch Trap, piece Ooh. by piece. And that's and his official name now. Together, he was able to capture us in the game and presumably escape back Hi, out into the real world. How are you? You doing? It's all gone now in the mobile version. In its place, though, maybe something better. Princess Quest. Up the game, it becomes clear that this mobile port is more broken than FNAF World 1.0. Oh. It's got textures glitching oh, out come on. the main hub and in the various Why you gotta do now, FNAF World like that? These are intentional effects. And by zooming in and tapping on them repeatedly... God, this honestly, was annoying. I can't see exactly what I did to do it. I just was there a long time pounding away. I was there for like 20 the minutes. eventually fades to black, and suddenly you're presented with everyone's favorite part of the series an 8-bit minigame with rudimentary gameplay steeped in symbolic yeah let's go baby let's go more like 16-bit at this point but still we're told that this game is called princess quest with you playing as a little girl lighting torches to unlock doors and running away from glitching bunny people glitching mm, bunnies you, you say. don't After say you way through a ruined castle and cemetery you eventually unlock a long corridor that leads to a final lantern and no points if you guessed it glitch trap himself the screen goes dark there he and is. suddenly you're taken back to the game's main hub now this seems fairly self-explanatory right it's a reference to glitch trap in a game that had to eliminate him due to size constraints <laughs> but it's the details here that really matter not counting the torches in front of the six gravestones which are very clearly references to mm. the original five missing children plus the child who possesses the puppet there yep. are 16 torches in total for the princess to oh watch. god i never this counted the torches coincidence. It oh the tapes with these 16 cassette tapes that you had to collect in the original boys in order to release glitch trap in fact glitch trap only appears once the 16 one is lit further hmm. cementing that i never noticed that where things get really never counted is when you decode what the candles the is saying as the game ends there's clearly a dialogue box oh along god the this damn dialogue box text, but you'll notice that the patterns aren't random some shapes actually repeat themselves these right here and these right here it's actually a letter substitution code that spells out everyone's favorite phrase from the I game i always, always come back, come back. And taking it all one step best impression ever extract the audio from this moment god this was such a interesting time learning that he's still there and do some audio trickery by doubling the speed and then reversing it we get this I still don't know how I feel about Glitch Trap having a voice. I feel like he was creepier without one. Showing us a recreation of the events from the original Help Wanted. This does a couple of things for us. First, it basically proves a hundred percent that this is, in fact, William Afton's spirit and oh, oh, not yeah. some sort of AI or code meant to replicate him. It is him through and through. Dude wasn't lying when he said he always comes back. He's got God more damn. lives than Jason Voorhees. He's also got himself a solid understanding of brand consistency. Afton always comes. back back secondly though what princess quest that's is that's a smash for us the origin story thing. of the new killer vanny vanessa in the original game the fate of let's go baby let's go she sometimes encouraged us to collect the tapes and sometimes didn't but here we get clarity on the whole story vanny is the princess with the lantern mm -hmm. she collects all the tapes pieces whatever and gets taken over by glitch trap this all confirms what we were speculating about before in, that one? in a previous theory from was in that, ago, one? that a young woman named was in that one? Vanny for short would be taken Taken over by Afton to kill in his name, brainwashed or partially controlled by a spirit living inside of her. Yes, I hear you. I know. No. 
Was it this slow in game? I don't remember it being this slow. There's also a similar okay. conversation currently hidden in the source code of Scott's website, except here you see both sides of the conversation. Stay the course. I will. Focus <laughs> on my voice. I will. Don't let yeah. anyone Hello, Benny. I won't. Have you selected one? I have. The one that Matthew, your voice sounds very Gregory interesting. Oh, hey! Gregory, be, be still. still. I think she's found us. So I don't know if they just added that in post or if Matt is going to mention the figurines. I'm very curious. Well, no. You see, in the last year, there's been one final source of information about Vanny. Oh, please don't talk about one. A game that I've largely ignored up until now. Thank you. Matt's augmented reality game, Special Delivery. If you haven't heard about this one, basically the concept is that animatronics get shipped to your home so you'll have yourself some new friends. Yay. Honest, fighting for your life against a malfunctioning robot is probably still better than trying to hold a normal conversation with a Mom living, pet. breathing human being. I think I've been dancing around this one just because the possible canonicity of characters like Shamrock, Thank Freddy, you. Liberty, Chica, and Clown Springtrap makes me have a nervous break. According but to Underscore, they're all canon. Of, uh, flamethrower, bear, endo, My boy! This game has My boy! more info over the entire last year about the history of Vanny and Glitch Trap, and it requires us to do one of the scariest tasks any FNAF game has ever required. No. Reading email. No, no, please, no, I can't. There's so many. They're all unread. Intended for your eyes. On one side, we have ourselves the story of a company working on behalf of Fazbear Entertainment to disassemble old animatronics and scan their circuit boards into their computer system. And just like Tape Girl warned us about back in FNAF VR, this causes a virus to spread through the system. Whoopsies. From those emails, turns out that wasn't a glitch. We released a virus when we scanned that last circuit board. It spread really fast we're gonna need all hands on deck new email hey Jim just <laughs> checking in I emailed you earlier this week about a virus caused by one of your circuit boards which is currently spreading throughout our system and causing serious problems please contact me ASAP Thanks, best Steve. Steve. So that is our glitch trap origin story. And to me, it's especially interesting because I think it helps explain something that dates all the way back to FNAF 3. Let's hear it. Recently in the series, we've learned that the FNAF games are canon in the games. Oh, now, yeah, I that's got it. A really confusing <laughs> totally hate it when that explained. happened. In I'll be honest. FNAF VR and the Fazbear Frights books, it's confirmed that the urban legends about murders happening at Freddy's restaurants are mainstream enough uh. to have gotten some video game spin offs. Yeah. Not necessarily the FNAF games that we know, and certainly not FNAF World, since everyone, including Scott, wants to forget that one, but games inspired by the legends of the people. Afton's Reba, Reba, I'm sorry, Springtrap's Revenge. By Fazbear Entertainment as a cover up. Fazbear Entertainment hired the developer. game developer. Those indie games were designed an elaborate to cover up. I remember the tapes. Happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's, it's an, an elaborate cover-up. Cover up. A campaign to discredit I everything. I've seen those games. I think we've played those games. They're the 8-bit minigames from FNAF 3. Mango's really? Quest, BB's Air Adventure, Chica's Party, and Stage 01. Heck, they might even include the Take Cake, Give Gifts, etc. minigames from FNAF 2. Those are the games being referenced in the games. I mean, they <laughs> even have those sorts of cheesy titles that would come with cheap Atari style games of that Whoa, what were you trying to say about Mangle's quest why am I talking about huh? now because of glitch trap it's easy to forget but the last mini game that you have to play in FNAF 3 features a glitched out bunny hopping I didn't even mean to put the pun there. Hopping between the various minigames. But that's a... This is the first appearance of Glitch Shadow. Trap. It's Afton spirit uh, trapped inside no. the circuit boards of these retro games Guess looking not. for an escape. An escape that doesn't actually get realized until he's scanned into a new modern computer system meant to produce FNAF VR. Now, admittedly, what? this is a bit confusing when it comes to the timeline. We know Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was founded in 1983, as we see from the VR coins in Help Wanted. In FNAF 1, Phone Guy tells us that the animatronics have been around for 20 years. That puts FNAF 1 in 2003, not 1993 like I previously thought. And based on the official description for FNAF 3, Fazbear's Fright and the discovery of Springtrap all happened 30 Wait. years after the closure of Freddy's, making that one roughly 2033. Now, we have no hmm. idea when and how Afton got a piece of his I'm still trying to wrap my head around the Stage 01 thing. I'll talk about it later. 
But if this company is literally opening animatronic suits sent from Fazbear yeah. Entertainment and scanning the boards as implied by the emails, are we assuming that they opened up the spring trap suit, completely ignored the dead body inside, <laughs> and scanned it? Just doesn't seem likely to me. Is Fazbear Entertainment rescuing the board after he was burned to death in FNAF 6? It's just odd. Huh. This is why I don't like to talk timeline with this series anymore. To me, the simplest solution here is that William Afton's soul is just in multiple places at once. Split like a Harry Potter horcrux. So yeah, like it's like the horcrux. Stars, he's split between suits and circuit boards. And one of those iterations is Glitch Trap, stuck in the Makes various sense. game's codes until he's eventually released. But reminding all the way back to FNAF Special Delivery, there's a separate and related story happening in the secret inbox between Lewis and his fellow employee. Let's go, Lewis, man. Yes, as in Vanessa. Whoa. Again, yeah. my friends, here we see a series We've been over this, Matthew. Ness is acting weird, and Lewis, the IT guy, is honestly acting weirder because he's creeping on Ness. Here's a few highlights from these emails. Hey, Ness, it's no big deal, but I wanted to reach out off the radar and remind mm. you about the company policy about personal internet usage. Certain words and phrases trigger red flag reports, so your last order got automatically sent to me. Basically, anything mentioning torture is going to raise the alarm. If you have any questions about the policy, let me know. We could even get coffee or something. And Lewis, stop it. To avoid. And now I've raised my own red flag. Yeah. I'm the one who gets the notification. Stop. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Ness. Wanted to see if you're doing okay. I appreciate your taking my advice about red flag search terms. If I thought I'd have to file an incident report on you, I think I'd just have to quit instead. I was a little worried. Maybe something is going on with you. One day you're researching flowers and the migration pattern of bees. Fascinating, hmm. right? And the Very. next day you type in, how far can a human being be cut in half before losing consciousness. I figured maybe you're writing a screenplay or something. Always here if you need me. Yeah. Lewis. Hey, screenplay. Ness. So the word this is the FNAF is movie, actually, guys. Any red flags, but the sentence, how to induce compliance in human subjects, <sighs> how to induce self-compliance, did actually get my attention. I think the answer might involve chocolate chip cookies. Always Stop it. For me. I also thought it was strange that these were immediately followed by searches that couldn't possibly have any relevant answers for you did you search for help by itself anyway my offer still stands if you want to go over the company policy i'm free any day after work we could grab dinner lewis you gotta you, you gotta stop lewis. oh lewis when you say stuff like that it makes me a sad panda. but hr violations aside these conversations tell us a lot about vanny's mental state she is sharing control of herself with glitch trap that's yeah. why we get references to her searching <laughs> help. the internet for help, help. Me. it's part of her Please. psyche crime crying out for anything, anyone who can save her, anything that'll provide an escape. It's also why it's so important that Lewis calls out the searches for inducing compliance in human subjects and inducing self-compliance. That is glitch trap, searching mm. for a way to gain complete control over Vanny, over her psyche. This further confirms something that we talked about in my last theory. Hey, I was in that one again. Episode, we mm. talked about how she's a reluctant follower, that Afton isn't in complete control. On Scott's Voices.com, page where he tends to hire out actors man remember when roles in the game Vanity scott used voices.com back in july i think so was our last one clearly a devotee brainwashed or controlled by afton to an extent but a mm. part of her is actively fighting back hesitant to do what he asks which makes me think that in security breach we may be able to save or redeem maybe in fact knowing that may help us out with the gameplay maybe it's a secret or a true end Ending condition that my good bad ending what I believe to be the big twist that awaits us in security breach wait 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 as i finish this video of course oh please talk about the fact yes dropped with important lore reveals so let's just talk about these real fast thank with god gregory hiding inside of freddy definitely looks like my idea about gameplay being a version of hide and seek is absolutely confirmed or mm. maybe gregory is just piloting an 80s era bear shaped gun no my god way, no totally <laughs> living for it as for the other statue that just dropped Looks like Vanny Let's think about taking it. a page out of the Afton playbook. The classic security guard by day and serial killer at night. Mm. Old habits so die Matt thinks that and they're Vanny's the same. Interesting. Question, is she going to remember it? My guess is no. I think it's going to be a classic case of Jekyll and Hyde. But see? Who knows? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what it is. I hear that some big things are coming to this franchise before the end of the year. And I'm not just talking about all the... Wait, wait, wait you... Dropped, which has one last reminder. You hold the frick up, Matthew. ...this video. But hey, that's just a theory. <laughs> a game theory. I hate that. Thanks for watching.
Okay, so... Huh. Something big is coming. Demo? Maybe? Maybe they're gonna show it off uh, during the live stream? I don't entirely know. I want to quickly go back to my thoughts on Shadow Bonnie being glitch-trap, because at first I was like, wait, no, Shadow Bonnie is, um... Shadow Bonnie, not Glitch Trap. But then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, oh, Shadow Bonnie, purple, purple guy, you know, in the minigames, the color purple is used to represent Shadow, so I guess it makes sense. Um, Shadow Bonnie being Glitch Trap, which might throw some wrenches into the lore of the books, because I know the books talk about Agony and the Shadows and all that stuff. I haven't read that story. I don't even know which one it is, but it's interesting, okay? Um... I'm, ex I'm very excited for the live stream on the 1st of December. I'm very excited to see what Matt is talking about with this big news coming out uh, before the end of the year. I don't know if he has insight with Scott because clearly they have been working together on the game for the stream and also the merchandise. So I feel like they've, they've probably talked a bit about what is coming. So yeah, that was Security Breach. I know the big twist, I think. Um, interesting. Again, I think... Game theory has taken a interesting turn when it comes to FNAF game theories because mostly it's just restating things because at this point no one can keep up with this, with this damn franchise. Um, but also throwing in theories in the middle and the end in between thoughts. So I, I do like it. I do like it. You know, a recap with some theories thrown in there as well. And again, it's interesting that Matt believes that Vanessa, aka Security Woman, and Vanny are the same person. Again, I don't want to get into that now because people. I'll get upset for some goddamn reason. I don't fucking know. People people are too sensitive, especially in this community. Um, so yeah, that was the video. Very interesting, very interesting. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Don't forget to like. And if you watch if you've watched till the end and you're new, I mean obviously you enjoyed it, so subscribe for more game theory reactions in the future. And I'll see you all on the flip side. I think I've already said that. Who cares? Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.